The history of the ancient China was one of the oldest and the longest lasting civilizations in the history of the world. The history of the ancient China can be traced back over 4,000 years located on the eastern part of the continent of Asia. Today, China is the most populous country in the world. Dynasties throughout most of China history, it was ruled by powerful families called dynasties. The first dynasty was the Chang and the last was the Qing. Ancient China also boasts the longest lasting empire in history. It began with the Qin dynasty and the first emperor Qin who united all China under the rule in 21 BC. Emperors will continue to rule over China more than 2000 years. The Qin Dynasty is a one of the best known period in Chinese history in the West because of the 1974 discovery of thousands of life-sized terracotta warriors. They were part of the best army guarding the tomb of Qing Tiwangdi. The government in early times the lands were ruled by the feudal system where lords owned the lands and farmers tended the fields. In the later years, the empire was run by civil service official who ran the cities, collected tax, and enforced the laws. Men had the fast extent to become officials. The Great Wall of China is a wall that covers much of the northern border of China. The length of the Great Wall built by the Ming Dynasty is around 5,500 miles long. The original Great Wall was started by the Qing Dynasty and the following dynasties continued to work on it. Later, the Ming Dynasty rebuilt the wall. The wall was built by the peasants, slaves, criminals, and other people that the emperor decided to punish. Soldiers were involved in building the wall and in managing the workers as well. It is estimated that millions of people worked on the wall over the course of over 1,000 years. Some scientists think that up to 1 million pe people died while building the wall. People building the wall were not treated very well. Many people were just buried under the wall when they died. The wall was built to help keep out northern invaders like Mongols. Smaller walls had been built over the years, but the first emperor of China, Qing Chi Wang, decided that he wanted a single giant wall to protect his northern borders. He ordered that the, a single strong wall be built with thousands of lockout towers where soldiers hold guard and protect his empire. Facts about ancient China Gunpowder originated in China. Gunpowder is a came to be known as a mixture of salt, peter, salt for, and charcoal. Together, these materials were burned rapidly and explode as a propellant. Chinese monks discovered the technology in the 19th century CE during their quest for a life-extending elixir. No one knows when the first printing press was invented or who invented it, but the oldest known printed text originated in China during the first millennium AD. The Diamond Sutra, a Buddhist book from Dunhuang, China, from around 868 AD during the Tang Dynasty, is said to be the oldest known printed book. Paper was first made in Liyang, China by Tsai Lon, a Chinese court official. In all likelihood, Chai makes bulberry bark, hemp, and rugs with water, masked into pulp, press out the liquid, and hung the den mat to dry in the sun. The Chinese invented the magnetic compass to help determine the correct direction. They used this in city planning at at first, but it became very important to map makers and for the navigation of ships. Gunpowder, paper, printing, and the compass are sometimes called the four great inventions of ancient China. With thousands of years of continuous history, China is one of the world's oldest civilizations. Throughout many centuries, Chinese artists depicted landscapes, animals, and beauties with careful details. Instead of using flat canvases, they mostly created paintings on hand scrolls. And now, let's talk about the famous Chinese artists and their role to society during ancient period. First is Gu Kaizi. Gu Kaizi is largely considered the father of Chinese painting and one of the most famous Chinese artists from the Jin dynasty. 
Unfortunately, none of his original Chinese drawings and paintings survived. But his artistry exists through exact copies made on silk hand scroll paintings that has been attributed to him. One such example of his painting is an exceptional piece, The Nymph of the Lu River. Han Huang Han Huang was a prime minister in the Tang Dynasty. Huang painted the five oxen during the 8th century. The Five Oxen by Han Wang was one of the rare extant paper paintings of the Tang Dynasty. Fan Zhongzheng, known by his alias of Fan Quan. Fan Quan was the most famous Chinese landscape artist from the Song Dynasty. Travelers Among Mountains and Streams is his most famous Chinese painting on silk. It is recognized as one of the triumphs of Chinese landscape artworks. Chu Ying. Chu Ying was considered one of the Ming Dynasty's four great masters. Spring Dawn in the Han Palace was one of his artwork. Ying depicted several scenes from the ladies' quarters of the Han Palace during Han Dynasty. Wang Ximeng. Wang Ximeng was a Chinese painter during the Song Dynasty. Wang was a student of court painting school where he was noticed by Emperor Huizong of Song who saw Wang's talent and taught him. At the age of 18, he created his only survival work called A Thousand Li of Rivers and Mountains. He died several years later, but he left one of the largest and beautiful paintings in the Chinese history. Zhang Huan, born in 1965 in Anyang, China, highly influential and proactive contemporary artist, his ideas are conceived as existential explorations. The layer of his ideas with his early performance art, but also work in paintings and photography. Song Dong, born in 1966 in Beijing, where the artist continued to work and resides. Song Dong is one of the best known figures in the Chinese contemporary art scene. Explores the theme of memory, self-expression, impermanence of transcends of human and divorce and the value of human expression in China, China's rapidly developing society. He also practiced working in painting, video performance. Yang Fudong, born in 1971 in Beijing, contemporary artist working mainly in film photography and installation. His visual language is marked by dreamlike mysterious atmosphere. He aims to transport the viewer to suspend and confuse time. The aesthetically perfect environment the artist functions as the catalyst of the, this transportation. He Shang Yu, born in 1986 in Yoning province of China. His experimental practice challenges materials and conceptual elements investiga investigating personal, social, and political themes using various ideas. He aims to guide and even adjust our perception through materials. He reflects on philosophical ideas, think of materialism, the absolute of our society. Yan Peining, born in 1916 in Shanghai most important Chinese contemporary painter of his generation. His figurative works often on a canvas using just two tones and expressive. Brush stroke depicts politician, actors, popes, iconic artworks, and the artist himself. Variety of themes and subjects strongly embedded to the art of historical tradition of European paintings. Ancient Chinese Architecture and Its Hidden Meaning In traditional Chinese architecture, doors and windows are picture frames for the changing seasons. This passageway in the Forbidden City creates a perfect view of the apricot blossoms in spring. The red wall, green tiles, and white flowers in the image all complement each other. Ornate rooftops with swooping lines are classic characteristics of traditional Chinese architecture. The uplifted corners are called flying eaves and they give an air of lightness and flexibility, as if the whole structure were being lifted up by the corners. 
The eaves can also drain water and deflect lightning strikes. This image depicts the exquisitely painted flying eaves and bucket arches of a traditional ornamental roof in the Forbidden City, Beijing. Soil One of the five elements is represented by the color yellow. It's the sacred center, the foundation of all things. The richest yellow who represents supreme power and is a symbol of the royal family. The roof tiles of most palaces in the Forbidden City are decorated with golden yellow glazed tiles to represent the incomparable dignity of the imperial family.